right, in this video, we are going to practice converting sub-customers. The exercise we're going to follow along with is over here on the right-hand side, and this is an exercise that's pulled from our Advanced Level Pro Advisor Certification course. If you would like more information about that course, go ahead and click on the link below after we go through the exercise. Let's go ahead and dive right in and see what our scenario will be for today. Craig has decided to use projects instead of sub-customers to track the profitability of his jobs. How can you easily convert his existing sub-customers to projects? To do this exercise, you will need to be in the sample company. Now, if you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left-hand side. This is what we're gonna be working in. This specifically here is the dashboard. So let's get started with the exercise. First, we need to go to the gear icon and then select account and settings. The gear icon is on the top right corner of the sample company. Go ahead and click on that. In the your company column, go ahead and select uh, account and settings. We wanna to go to the advanced tab. So on the left-hand side here, on the very bottom, we're going to click on advanced. Now we're gonna click anywhere in the project section and then click on the toggle next to organize all job-related activity in one place. It'll turn green when, uh, when you have turned it on. So that is the one, two, three, four, five, six one down. It says projects, just click anywhere in there. It doesn't matter as long as it becomes, as long as you click in it and becomes editable. Go ahead and click on that toggle so it turns green and then click on save. You can see now that it is showing as turned on. And my QBO is thinking, there we go. Okay, it is turned on right there. Just go ahead and click on the green done button. Now you may get this pop-up warning as you're trying to exit out of this. And it's asking if you wanna continue without saving. If it does, just go ahead and click on the green yes button. Your settings are still gonna be saved. I believe this is just a glitch in the sample company. Um, so just know that if you do get that pop-up warning, go ahead and click on yes. The settings will still be saved and you are good to go. So next, we're going to go to the customer list. From the left navigation bar, we're gonna hover over sales and then select customers. The left navigation bar is over here on the left-hand side. We're going to hover over sales and then go ahead and select customers from that dropdown. Now, only sub-customers that are set to bill with parent can be converted to projects. So you'll need to make sure that this adjustment, um, make this adjustment for Craig's three existing sub-customers. Now, as a note here, you may also have high school lot as a sub customer if you're completing this exercise in the same session of the sample company as a previous exercise. If you did any of the other ones that are part of this advanced pro, pro advanced level pro advisor certification course, um, there was one about creating a sub customer and running reports. If you are still using, if you did that one and you're still using the same session of the sample company, you may still see them on the list. Um, but if you are in a new session, you won't. So um, either way, we're not gonna do anything with the high school lot for the purposes of this exercise. So we're going to scroll down to Freeman Sporting Goods and click on the Ocean View Road location. Scroll down until you find Freeman Sporting Goods. You can see there are two sub-customers here and you know they are sub-customers because they're kind of indented a little bit underneath Freeman. So you know that they are rolling up to the parent company uh, or the parent account, um, the customer parent account or customer, I guess you could call it, um, which is Freeman Sporting Goods. So go ahead and click on the line for Ocean View Road um, we are going to edit this. If you get any pop-ups, just go ahead and click out of them. QVO is trying to be extra helpful for us. Uh, just go ahead and click on edit so that we can edit the customer profile. Now we want to click on the checkbox next to bill parent customer and then, or bill, yeah, bill parent customer, then click on save. Um, here's that name and contact section. Just below that, currently it's showing that this is a sub or customer of Freeman Sporting Goods. We want to make sure that it uh, goes to bill parent company. So make sure you select that checkbox and then you can go ahead and click on the green save button. And now that has been updated for us. And we need to repeat these steps for the Freeman Sporting Goods twin lane location as well as the Shara Barnett Barnett design. So let's return to the customer list by clicking on customers right over here. 
Now we're gonna scroll down to the Freeman Sporting Goods and find the 55 Quinn Lane. Go ahead and click on that. And when you do, we're gonna follow the same steps that we did before. We're gonna click on that edit button right there. And then in this bill parent customer, this checkbox next to it, make sure you select that. And then you wanna go ahead and click on the green save button. And now that one has been updated for us. Once again, we need to go back to that customer list so that we can do it for Shara Barnett. Click on the customers right here. You could have also clicked on customers here on that tab. It'll take you to this exact same place. So we're gonna scroll down until we find Shara Barnett. Here we go. We're going to click on Barnett Design. That is that sub-customer of um, Shara Barnett. Once again, we're gonna click on the edit button right here. And then we're going to click on the checkbox next to Bill Parent Customer, click on that, and then go ahead and click on the green Save button. All right, so this is the last time we're going back to that customer list. Go ahead and click on Customers once again. And now you will see in a pop-up beneath the money bar, this is called the money bar right here, um, there is this little pop-up uh, showing up here and it's asking about um, converting sub-customers into their own project. We want to do this, so go ahead and click Convert Now. We're gonna click on the checkbox at the top of the list to select all of the sub-customers, so go ahead and click on that. Everybody has been um, selected here, and now we want to convert it. So go ahead and click on the green convert button right there. You're gonna get a pop-up um, asking if you're sure you wanna do this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and then you wanna go ahead and click on the green continue. And it says that they have been converted to projects. So let's go to projects and see what this looks like. Click on that green go to projects and now you can see in this uh, projects center that we have finished and we can uh, see that the profit we can easily see the profitability for those former sub customers and if desired add the our um, employee hourly late rate excuse me to track time costs associated with each project you would do that right here um, and then you would go through the steps in order to add that extra cost so that you could again put have, see the total um, overview of the profitability for each um, each of them. But that's it. That is how you would convert sub-customers. Now, if you liked this exercise and you want to do more like it, or if you would like more information about that advanced level Pro Advisor certification course, be sure to click on that link below in the description, and I will see you in the next exercise.